Talking to, uh, to Ken this morning about the youngster, and he said the one thing that he has, gentlemen, that is so good that you can't teach is hockey sense. And yes, in goal, you even need hockey sense to be a good goaltender as well. What does that mean? It means reading plays. It means anticipating well before you the puck arrives. It means uh, anticipating plays in tight, and we watch him do that so well as he scrambles on this particular play. Structurally, he's sound. He has good size to his game, but he has terrific poise. I think, Paul, as you mentioned earlier in the show, and uh, he's the real deal. And uh, we see seven shutouts. Four of those, as mentioned, have come on the road in this team, entrenched in a playoff spot and six spot. And you just wonder how important this goaltender has been in terms of what this team has done, given who is in front of them on the blue line. We know who the names are because this is what we do for a living, but this really is a Loblaw no-name sort of defense. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> I don't know about that. I mean, uh, you know, they've got some pretty good players that have that have gone through the run on the blue line, and and they have experience. And uh, Tootin is a pretty good player for the, the they got from the New York Rangers, and I really like him, Commodore, with great experience, of course, in the playoff run when he was the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, Hayda is what is he a plus? Uh, where is he here? 21, I believe. Yes. Uh, however, 21. So I mean, they've got some pretty good players back here, but they're no names. You're no. right. Kirk Russell, World Junior Team uh, with Canada for two years, two gold medals. They're not horrible, but they're but they, they're a pretty good group. Christian I, Backman as well. I agree. There's some talent there. Chris Russell, obviously a young, promising rookie or, or young defenseman for this team, but this is a group of defensemen that on a good team wouldn't be any higher than fifth or sixth on the depth chart and here they are as a group and they are playing like a complete unit and they seem to have that extra little bit of confidence by having a good goaltender behind them and I think that's something that uh, at times has affected the Maple Leafs when they've lost a little bit of confidence in their goaltending and you see the defense trying to do a little too much out there and you know your goalie's playing solid that defense gets a whole lot better. Mike Commodore does bring some championship pedigree. You look at this deca a decade alone, NCAA championship, a Stanley Cup championship, and a world championship. So he has helped solidify a few things back there. But again, a bit of a no-name defense, but you combine that with great goaltending, and all of a sudden, Greg, they're in sixth spot. Well, their team defense is great, and that's the characteristic of a Ken Hitchcock team as well. If you look at the history with, uh, with Ken's teams, they've always been responsible on their own end. They've always worked collectively as a team, a lot of backside pressure on this group, and uh, he's got them going. And this is a team right now that's playing a very stingy defensive style of game. They're getting great saves, as Ken Hitchcock mentioned last night. In that game, when the game was on the line, the team was tired. The Columbus Blue Jackets, by the way, they're coming into this game pretty tired as well. This is their fifth and seven. But, you know, it was the goaltender that held them in. The St. Louis Blues outshot them and outplayed them in the third period. However, the goaltender hung them in, and they, and they got the points they needed. Certainly one of the guys charged with bringing this group together is the general manager of the Columbus Blue Jackets, and he is with our Andy Petrillo. Thanks, Jody. Well, Scott, you have a lot of young guys on this team, one of them being your goaltender and Steve Mason. And 58 games into the season, he's played 38 of them with a 22-12-3 record. Was it always in the plans to have him play this much in his first year? No, we thought he'd be in the American League, uh, starting in the American League and maybe come up next year. But um, injuries forced us to use him, and uh, once he got in the net, he hasn't left it. And uh, he'll play the bulk of the games the rest of the way as long as he stays healthy. You always hear in the hockey world that defensemen and goalies take longer to develop. So do you still watch him cautiously? Yeah, we do. He just got over a bout with of mononucleosis. So uh, uh, we're monitoring him daily. I, uh, I speak to him daily and see how he's doing. He seems to be uh, hanging in there. He's played. Uh, this is another back-to-back -back that he's played since he's come back. So those are difficult. But, uh, yeah, a young guy, you're always worried that they're going to hit the wall or whatever. But uh, so far he hasn't done that, and hopefully he'll uh, keep playing well for us. Well, let's stay with your rookies and go back to 2007 when the NHL draft was held in Columbus. And your first pick was Jakub Borchek, seventh overall. What is it about young guys like him on this team that are making it look like the Blue Jackets will see postseason action for the first time? Well, they're getting a chance. They're, anytime you pick in the top seven or eight, you're, you're, you're getting a good player usually if you do your homework. And, uh, and Jake had a sensational year in Halifax last year, and we thought he was too good for junior. And this is a learning year for him, but uh, he's got uh, 28 points or whatever and has really contributed and seems to be getting, getting better in the second half, which is encouraging for us. So now moving forward, are there any pieces to the puzzle you would like to add come trade deadline March 4th? Well, we really think we need to uh, add a center if we can. Uh, we lost Derek Broussard, another one of our good young players for the season with a shoulder injury in December. So that already weakened a, a position of weakness. So if there's a center out there, that makes sense. But but uh, we're not going to mortgage our future or trade any of our good young players. We're going to try and add a piece here or there and see if we can get a little bit better. 
all about building through the draft, and your team's a good example of that. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you. All right, Scott, ha- Scott Housen, General Manager of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Let's go back up to the desk. Well, a little description about Scott Housen. Played for the Kingston Canadians and Jim Morrison back in the early 80s. Jim Sun Davis, the head amateur scout for the Toronto Maple Leafs, realized he wasn't going to be an NHL player, went to law school, and is now a general manager of this team. And, Greg, the pressure is on this team. It is the only team in NHL history not to have made the playoffs. They've got to make it this year. Yeah, well, they do because their market's caught on again. Uh, the market at the start of the year, they weren't drawing very well. There were some real concerns in Columbus. They're suddenly now starting to draw the enthusiasm. His enthusiasm is back in Columbus, so this would be a huge accomplishment for this hockey club to make it. But they're not going to mortgage their future, and why would they? They've got a huge, good group of young players coming up. If they don't make it this year, they're going to make it in the very near future. And Nick Antropov, do you hear that name? I mean, big center iceman they're looking for? Who knows? I mean, that's uh, one of the teams that perhaps uh, may be looking at Nick Antropov very closely in this game tonight. All right, it's time for Millen's Minute, and I know you have a topic that's very close to the hearts of Maple Leafs fans, and maybe a little direction for Saturday? No, I I never give directions to fans. Just a little. No, because fans pay their money, and when they come to the hockey rink, they can do whatever the heck they want, and that's the way players think. They come to the rink, they can react however they like to react in terms of fans. But I will say this, on the Matt Sundin situation, let's just back up a couple of things on Matt's, and... When you're a player, and I've been in this position, and you have a no-trade contract, you have it for a reason, because you earned it. And if you do earn that right to have a no-trade contract, then you have the right to stay wherever you want to stay until your contract is expired. That's why you actually signed a no-trade contract. So for Leaf fans, please don't get bitter at Matt Sundin for conducting himself the way he did. He then had the right as a free agent to do whatever he wanted to do. He needed some time off. He took some time off, and then he was solicited by teams, one of them uh, probably not being the Toronto Maple Leafs as much as some of the other teams in the National Hockey League, and he ended up ending up with the Vancouver Canucks. Don't get bitter at Matt Sundin for that. What you can do, however, is realize what Matt Sundin did for this franchise every time he showed up. And as a Leaf fan, when he came into this building or to the old uh, Maple Leaf Gardens, he was entertained every time the fan came to the building by Matt Sundin. He never left anything on the table. He was the ultimate professional. He showed up every game to play hard. And for that reason, I would suggest that Leaf fans on Saturday night should give him an ovation like they've given uh, not too many other players in the history of Toronto. That's my feeling. I think that's a little bit of direction, and I think many people would agree with that, Greg Millen. I think that Matt Sundin has earned at least that from fans as he makes his return on Saturday. Up next here on Molson Canadian Leaf Nation pregame show, we will go... Picking Pekka's brain, Michael Pekka talks to Andy Petrillo. This and more straight ahead on Molson Canadian Leaf Nation pregame, presented by Tim Hortons. We're back right after this. Land tickets to a 